Hello. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Christmas and the wonderful things included about Christmas, like food and gifts. All right, let's go. Okay, so we're going out today and we're talking about, you know, like your favorite parts about Christmas. Like what's your favorite thing about Christmas or favorite things about Christmas? Well, I, it would, well, starting last year, it would have been uh, with family, but I mean, this year it's a little, little different if you couldn't tell. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, I don't know, man. I think it's just being able to give and receive at the same time. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. So like stuff like like getting gifts is really nice. Yeah. Like obviously the classic socks we all love. Yeah, of to course, get. of course. Like awesome, absolutely. Yeah. But the main thing you're saying is like is the family that we honestly we don't get to have this year. Exactly. Which yeah. which, re which really sucks, and that's why we're out here. We're talking about, you know, being separated from family being and how how kind of lonely it can be mm -hmm. but what are you doing to counteract that this year for for yourself and and your family that you get to you get to see uh what will you guys be doing this year we're we're kind of just doing the traditional thing because usually we'd be able to have our grandparents come up from ontario or we could uh my older brother come down from whistler we're, we're still going to follow the tradition that we usually do but we're not going to have them be able to come over so we're just going to make a turkey do whatever yeah. Yeah. That's about it. So you're doing the, the, the turkey for, for dinner. What, what else yeah. are you going to be having for dinner type deal? Uh, pr pretty pretty similar to Thanksgiving. Just, pretty, pretty just similar, stuffing. Just like yeah. the, same, the same old, same old. Nice. What do you what do you think you guys are going to be like 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 for for being thankful? You know what I mean? Like 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 what do you think about Christmas? Do you think about it as like you know something we like? Like being alive is 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 something that that you can be thankful for for Christmas and whatnot. Of course, always. So, so here, here's here's another question: is like when you think about your your food when you're when you're eating it, do you ever think about what what the what happened to that turkey for it to get there? I do not. I know not many people do, right? Yeah. It's kind of one of those things that's just in your head and then out your head, right? You kind of just kind of you don't really think about it. But but if you could think about it in, in a sense where do you think that that turkey wanted to die for a meal? Mm -hmm. Wait, pardon me? Will you start with that? Like, like, do you think the turkey wanted to die for that meal? No, definitely not. Like, so do you think that when we celebrate these holidays of giving and being thankful, that it's almost kind of hypocritical in a way? <laughs> yeah. Where we kind of go, oh, well, we're, we're kind of so thankful for life. For life. Family, but we yeah. take life to celebrate life. Yeah. Do you think that that's kind of a bit hypocritical it's for the human race? Definitely hypocritical, but I mean, I can't, I can't be the one. I'm still yeah. 17, man. Exactly. I, like, exactly. I'm not the one buying the turkey, but mm -hmm. I don't know. It's definitely a tough topic for me, but oh, of course. I definitely, for every, for everybody. I, I definitely, I definitely couldn't tell someone not to be, Absolutely. not to be like, not to care about other lives. Mm -hmm. Like, like it's like, oh fuck a turkey. It's like I'm like, yeah. Still obviously at the point where I'm saying. Bad yeah, it's, it, exactly. Is it kind of like something that we haven't like seen? Have you ever seen it happen before? Definitely not. Definitely or yeah. I guess I've probably seen more of like the, the like just like kind of like a quick video here, yeah. and then you're like, oh, I don't want to watch that again. Yeah. Yeah, it happened to me a lot when I was when I was uh, when I was growing up and whatnot. Yeah. Do you think that if you saw it happen every time you had to eat it, do you think that you would uh, be able to participate? Probably not, man. I it's 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 more of like a. Like I'm kind of, it's, it's happening in the moment. Like I don't, I don't think a month before exactly. about what the turkey comes to say. It's like, it's just a turkey. You know? I'm just like, man, fuck it. I'll exactly. Eat it this Lots year. of people just think it's like, yeah. it's just, it's just the turkey. You know what I mean? Lots yeah. of, believe me, that's how I grew up. Mm -hmm. That's how lots of people are mainly like growing up. But do you think that when you do eat the turkey this time, do you think that you could think about the life that, that, that was taken? I'll, that, now I'll definitely think about yeah. it. I'll definitely think about it. That's that's good. That's good to hear. And the and one thing we, we like to bring up is the alternatives for these products. You know what I mean? Like we live in a time where if it's actually taste that you that you want, mm -hmm. then the taste is done with uh, a, a mock a mock meat is what they're called. Yeah. So maybe maybe when you when you go home and you start thinking more about it, uh, check out some some things about this even. And and that's what we're really out here for is because Christmas is nice for us. Yeah. You know what I mean? But we're we're forgetting somebody someone yeah. you know it's not something mm -hmm. that we're doing so well hey man thank you very much for the conversation <laughs>
Welcome to Victoria. Yeah, no kidding. Um, but hey, thank you so much for the conversation, yeah, no man. Problem, and I, and yeah, take care. So for Christmas this year, what are you what are you guys doing to raise the spirits? Okay. Okay. Um, what are you doing? Listening to a lot of Christmas music. Lots. Yeah. yeah. It's it's like you don't even have a choice after that. Yeah, the time either, like so. on repeat. <laughs> no, I'm like putting it on. Um, because that's how I feel like it's Christmas, and also watching Elf. Elf is yeah. pretty legendary. Yeah. I won't lie to you. That pretty much made my holidays growing up. <laughs> yeah. But Elf. other than that, it's hard. Like usually, I'm doing choir. Um, yeah. Like a and lot. usually, like like family wise, like usually yeah. with the family a lot yeah, of time. Yeah. Like getting together with a lot of people. Yeah. Which obviously. So how about you? What what what's um, what, what 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 are you doing right now to kind of? Well, I'm a dancer, so I'm dancing a lot. Nice. And that's been really helpful to get me through. And I would have been at school in Toronto right now, but I'm actually with my family. So it's kind of like a blessing in disguise, I guess, that I get to be with my family in a time that I normally would have been away. Yeah. So oh, nice. that's Thanks. what's kind of getting me through. So for like, for like, are you guys going to be getting lots of like nice, nice gifts for each other, you know, like friend wise, like what are you guys doing for that? and, and and let's say like for meals and whatnot, what do you guys, what are your plans for, for um, the actual day? Oh, for the actual day, I don't know. I'll just be at home with my parents. No. Um, I'm trying to get gifts for my friends uh, <laughs> yeah. last minute. So. Believe me, it's, it's pretty tough. Yeah. Yeah, the only, like I got this amazing woman <laughs> a gift, but I'm, try I'm trying to get gifts for people like in from university in other provinces, so it's really challenging because it's like, what's meaningful that can fit into an envelope? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's and very uh, strange, yeah. Yeah. My daughter's got it down. She just makes a card. And yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's pretty nice. But yeah, for like, for like food-wise, like what do you, what do you guys, what's your favorite, uh, favorite thing to eat during the holidays? I feel. I'm making so many cookies. Lots yeah. of cookies. Yeah. Shortbread. Oh, sugar short cookies. Bread. Uh, my dad's making mincemeat tarts, which I won't touch, but um, <laughs> he'll enjoy those. No, no mincemeat tarts. Own. No. But why, why no mincemeat tarts? I just don't understand it. No. <laughs> it's like suet. It's like beef fat and like meat yeah, that and doesn't, raisins. Yeah, that doesn't sound too appealing to me. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. So, so uh, will you guys be participating in like like uh, like turkey dinner? Like, what 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 animal are you guys going to be? <laughs> <laughs> participating I think we're doing a turkey dinner I don't know we usually have a really big family gathering for me but now it's just my family at home so we're like oh we have to make our own dinner so we're all a little nervous <laughs> but we're gonna do it anyway on Christmas day um and we're cooking a turkey roll for my dad but my mom and I don't really eat meat so I think that's just gonna be like weird like do we make all the different side dishes for just the three of us or yeah, yeah. I think I'm just or it might be just like a shrunken down dinner with some tempeh like usual hey nice yeah That's, that sounds like a really good uh, yeah really good meal to me actually yeah but, but yeah so so when you guys are eating your meals and whatnot when you're thank like what are you guys thankful for are you guys thankful for you know like your family like life in general like like what yeah. do you guys usually thankful for food, shelter, yeah. and good health. Yeah, totally. Yep. And a good support system at home. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like sometimes we forget forget someone in this whole whole thing. And and you've already kind of mentioned it and whatnot, which is absolutely amazing. But like the actual animal itself, like do you guys ever think about the actual animal itself that you're about to consume? I... <laughs> So no, I um, I'm vegetarian. She's vegetarian. Yeah. yeah. So I guess not. And what? This a, and why, why are you vegetarian? Um, I was I was like 11, and I just got grossed out about um, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I understand. Eating that. an animal. Yeah. So so when you so you still participate in like uh, eat like consuming like eggs. And, I do. And dairy yeah. And yeah. So do you know much about the dairy industry and the egg industry? I do know a little bit, and I know it's still not good. Um, yeah, I just haven't made the full switch to um, veganism for selfish reasons, because I really believe like me. No, no, believe me. I and it's actually like a lot of people do it, and they and they. Uh, it's it's actually a thing called castle morphine that's in milk for the babies to go back mm -hmm. to the mother to know that it needs to go back. Mm -hmm. It's actually a relative to like opiates. 
So yeah, so you're actually like not just you don't just like cheese. Yeah. You're actually driven by buy it right. but as you guys could probably tell by now this is a conversation that we like to get into about veganism and, oh, and how and how you can uh and and, and and because you're thankful for all of these things in your life and how life is you know you're thankful for life and all that yeah. like maybe next time when you're eating the meals you could think about the life that really would have been thankful you know what i mean like to to not be on the plates anymore for just taste pleasure you know what i mean because I, I don't i can't really see any any other any other reason for consuming these animals except for taste pleasure yeah. you know what i mean oh, like yeah. and it's that's what like, like believe me like i i went I, I went vegan and i ate cheese constantly like constantly and then i realized <laughs> that's one, not vegan though. No, no i know and i realized that i wasn't even vegan <laughs> yeah because veganism is a is an ethical stance against yeah i didn't know that until i actually witnessed what happened to these animals and then i was like this is veganism yeah okay it's like a switch kind of gets gets flicked and you're like okay so it's not just a diet we're not just talking about food here yeah we're actually talking about the life in itself and that's what we're out here talking about today is oh, the life cool. yeah. is the life in itself because it's a really tough subject to talk about not many people like to talk about it especially um you know randomly on the streets not, yeah. <laughs> not many people like to yeah. so but um yeah i just hope that you know like you guys uh, in in 2020, we have so many different alternatives for these products, like like the dairy products, because as you know, the males are are macerated in a blender for eggs, and for dairy, the baby male cow is bolted in the head for that that product. So if we could choose an a, if you could choose an alternative product, do you think that would lean more towards your moral as a as a human being? Uh. Like, yes. are you against, are you yeah. guys against animal abuse? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think so. so do, you think, do you think maybe veganism is more, like, aligned with, with who you are as a person? Yeah, yeah. I'm actually, well, I've been thinking of going to pescatarian because I'm indigenous, so there's lots of sustainable, like, yeah. seafood that we consume, and I exactly. wouldn't say it's unethical to, like, um, hunt salmon. Like, I wouldn't say that is. So I think pescatarian would be, like, a something that totally aligns with my morals. Um, but, yeah. And you, what I've been do you thinking think? about pescatarian as well, too. But, um, yeah, I definitely try to eat less dairy. Yeah. yeah. So, like, with, with, with fish, are you guys aware about the fishing industry by chance? Yes. Yeah. And fish farms as well. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. terrible for the environment. Absolutely. So, like, I would say the, you know, if you're not fishing for it. And, and for me, because, like, I, I'm, I'm part uh, Aboriginal, like, like Métis, and I, I researched a lot. Right now, um, they a lot of a lot of native natives need to cons need to fish for survival still to this day, yes. because of the situation that the government has put them in. So we don't you don't push veganism on somebody that can't you know can't actually do it right that's just that's silly that's silly to do but we're looking for people that go to the grocery store you know what i mean and like can choose the alternative product and like really like you know that's what we're looking for and that's majority of the people really on the planet are going to these whole foods or going whole foods is one other story not really interested in that but um but yeah but like i say we go to the the stores and we can go by this product as opposed to the product of an animal but hey, you guys, honestly, thank you so much for having no this problem. conversation. Like, yeah, yeah. We just like to bring awareness to this kind of thing. And totally. it, it really, it's, it, it, it's been nice. It's been nice no being problem. able to actually go out and kind of make people at least think about it. Yeah, and that's totally. all we ask for. Well, hey, you guys, thank you very much for the conversation. Take care. Merry Christmas.